Hello, hello. We're back. We're back in the game store because this is my life now. Every day <laughs> I'm at the game store. All right, so yesterday, or I say yesterday, the last couple days we have been implementing some new things in the store and they are VHS. And look at this. This is just from yesterday. yesterday. Those have sold, those have sold. A bunch there have sold, some over there. So definitely VHS are selling and selling quickly. We started to put in a couple toys got the Ecto one and that one and I'm about to start putting in toys all through here got some heavier hitter type toys over here you got the legacy dragon sword that's 250 bucks this one right here is the ninja megazord 200 bucks for that so these are a little bit more of the heavier hitter items but we have a ton of vintage toys Star Trek Star Wars X-Men Spider-Man Marvel that are gonna go over here and then I'm gonna start putting some probably in here as well. The one thing I do need to do is this is a little tight. I'm probably gonna push this back just a touch to maybe here. And then also these right here, these glass cases, there is room to maybe go like right around in here. I just don't know when I'm gonna do that because that's gonna take some manpower to do that. But for now, I can definitely move these over just like to right here and go with go with this go with this space being just a little bit more wider uh, so about to start getting all those toys out i don't have everything priced but i have a ton here i'll show you what i do have priced so all this stuff in here i do have priced got star trek x-men figures these are pretty sweet these are these uh micro machine star wars figures rebel fleet trooper and then I got a simpsons doll batman forever i got the real the real Ghostbusters. So I'm gonna get all that stuff put out and there's a ton upstairs as well. So I'll start grabbing all that stuff and we will start putting out toys, finally. Also, it is this young lady's last day. Hi. Melissa, they have had, and Craig, Craig is here as well. He's hiding, he's hiding back there. There he is. Uh, so they have owned this store for 16 years and today is the last day. How are you feeling right now? Feeling good. Is it surreal? I mean, th you guys have built this place 16 years. Well, first of all, we gotta check out this shirt. <laughs> what is that shirt from, man? Uh, it is from Twilight Princess. But where exactly? E three. Is it Skyward Sword? Okay. Yeah, this was a this was a this was an argument between them, and who was right? Who ended up being right? Craig was right. Craig was right. Oh, all right. That's <laughs> sorry. Sore, sore, sore subject. But seriously, you guys have had this place for 16 years. I mean, you gotta feel at least a little a little weird, a little strange. Uh, yeah. No? Yeah, we'll miss the place. What is there, that that was gonna be my, my question for you guys. What is gonna be the thing that you're gonna miss the most about not having the store? Uh, the music, absolutely. The mu really jamming out to the music every day. <sighs> I don't think she's being for real. What is it? <laughs> what, what what is it? The what? people, the, the customers. people, of course, of course it is. Yes. Of course it is. <laughs> That these people in this community love Craig and Melissa. So we actually have look at this. Christy killed it. She actually got a cake. And we're giving out cake to people that come in to say bye to Craig and Melissa. And it has been so cool. So they're, they're, she, she really did not want to be on camera. She's already gone. But guys, they're amazing. Um, blessings on them and their new adventure. Uh, it's going to be awesome for them. And we're just happy to kind of keep the legacy going on in the store. Hey, we love you guys. You're amazing. The farewell. I did wanna say guys one more time, thank you so much to Melissa and Craig for what they have what they have made, guys. They have made an incredible game store with, with so many memories, not only for them, but for everybody in the Central Arkansas community. Um, this place is a landmark, a video game landmark in the South. And again, we just wanna say thank you to Melissa and Craig for all of the, the hard work, all the years that you've put into making this place amazing, you guys are amazing. Now, let's get back into organizing some of these things downstairs to start putting in toys in the game store. Guys, Seth came out of nowhere to help save the day. He, he calls us Poggers? Pog. Pog. Pog team. He said, hey, this is the Pog team. I know all about this at Target. And we ended up like trying to use the shelves and it really didn't work. So like we took off the shelf, took all of them off here and then just left one because we have all these taller 
Projectors, X-Men, which is probably one of the coolest dang toys ever. Introducing X-Men Projectors, X-Men figures that light your walls with X-Men Adventure. My son wants to use it so bad and I kind of want to open it and actually see what the projecting mechanism looks like on the wall. It's probably terrible, but. So we have all of X-Men stuff here uh, on these hooks. I think it looks pretty, pretty good. So all the X-Men stuff all through here. And then this is like superhero and I mean, just random. Like Mask, the animated series toys. Yep, yeah, that's what those are. Cone, Coneheads, <laughs> Coneheads, Batman. These I just got at the convention. I think they're so cool. I love those the collab. Are the those are so cool. X-Men Street Fighter. Video game superstars. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, a bunch of Batman figures as well. I also thought these old Fantastic Four ones are great. Oh yeah, I love those too. Uh, you, got, you got down here, you got Hobgoblin right there. So. That looks really good to me. And then I guess I have time to maybe do one or two more and then I gotta head on out. We're gonna do this section, I guess. I got tons of Star Wars and Star Trek and then Team and T stuff to go up next. Okay, so I have to leave to go to a banquet party here in just a little bit. So this is as far as we got. Seth had also the genius idea. I actually don't know if I've talked about this already or not, but he said, why don't you end cap so people can see too when they're walking they can see all of the toys over here. So these are Micro Machine Star Wars figures. So these are end caps, so people can hopefully be like, hey, what's over here? And start looking. So I already showed you this whole section. I think this is feeling awesome all through here. I don't think I showed you guys these. Look at this. These are Michelle Full House doll dolls. <laughs> what? what is going on? And then there's an original Super Soaker XP 105, got the Ecto-1s, all the VHS, which they've been selling like crazy. And then over here, you walk around and you see Star Wars and Star Trek toys in a couple cases. So I definitely have a lot more to get. I, I still have more to, um, to price as well, but it's a start. And then over here, this is just random because I have to go and don't have time. You got a Super Famicom case, a Turbo Man InSync dolls. Oh, yeah, surely. Surely those are gonna fly off the shelves, right? And then more end cap. Over here, uh, these are the Turtle Fighters that are bootleg. And have I showed you guys these yet? Again, I apologize if, if I've showed you this guy. Show me this already. I'm out of breath because we're going so fast. Uh, where's the one I want to show you? Where is it? Did his head go down? There it is. Look at this. Look at look at his neck. It's like it's like a toothpick. These are so bad, but people collect these now. The bootleg turtle figures are here. So hopefully somebody that wants those gets those. And then Christy is over here putting up the Cat expensive, boy. ooh. What is it? The Cat boy. credit card. So excited. You got it. got it. And then down here are the expensive toys. You got the legacy Ninja Megazord, the Dragon Sword, the Turtles in Disguise. So a little bit shorter of a video today, but we do have toys now in the game shop. Toy shop. Game toy shop.